remember when you first came to the clinic in fifth grade what your main problems were? Um, I remember that I couldn't really touch my nose without bending my arm and having it stick out. I couldn't touch the back of my neck without trouble and it hurt a lot and now it really doesn't. Could you get a ponytail in your hair? No, I couldn't. It was hard. Birth brachial plexus palsy is a condition affecting 1 in 1,500 live births that results most often from an, a strong association with a very high birth weight where in order to deliver the baby's head, and sometimes the shoulder gets stuck behind the pelvic bone when you have a really large baby, and so the amount of pulling between the head and the shoulder can result in forces on the nerves that go through the neck on their way to the arm muscles. Did the surgery and more therapy altogether result in improved use of your arm, do you think, Sydney? I think it did. I think it helped a lot for moving it around and actually doing activities in gym. I wish I could do something about my brain, like tell it, hey, I have a left arm here, let's use it. Brachial plexus can be complete paralysis of the arm all the way to limitation at one joint. So, you know, even with impairment restricted to the shoulder that Sydney had until fifth grade, that's enough that even when you fix that at a later age, the brain has learned to move on. And the brain that would have controlled the shoulder movements, those signals now are, are harder to elicit. More like ready to try more things, like not just giving up and saying, oh, I can't do this, so I'm just going to sit down and not do it. Now that I know there's hope that I can do it, I'll try. Even if I can't do it perfectly like everyone else, I'll still try my hardest.